Hi traders, welcome back to Rev Daily Traders weekly forex outlook. Uh, we'd like to apologize to our subscribers and uh, people who are following us on YouTube. Uh, we were having some issues with technical uh, issues, okay? But we are back. Hope uh, you're going to get every video. But don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, click that notification bell so that you can get every video that we're going to send for you okay uh hope you you had a good month since we we were away our last publish was uh around uh, april okay but now we are back we're going to give you every week and uh we're going to try by all means to give you an update on wednesday okay as we promised last and another thing again on our last publish we did promise you a video on how to master the patterns okay we're still planning that we're still going to give you that but do subscribe if you are new to our channel okay and join our channel right let's get back to the business of today we're going to start with gold we're going to use the h4 time frame okay so what are we going to look for remember we got this up more then we got the down move here okay a full pair that respected our demand okay then we got the up move again a one two three here this one two three did respect this demand okay this demand then we took our buys here hope you did take the buy then after breaking this rule, the market turns here, okay? Refers, and we saw that it was respecting this supply. Then now we've got this one, two, three, okay? Now what next after getting that one, two, three? The market has gave us a non pattern to us, okay? This one, two, three, and one, two, three again, okay? So we are having this pattern us to go up so we'll be biased to upside on gold okay guys so if we didn't take a buy from this floor this demand then look for a pullback here okay that pullback on lower time frame such as one hour 30 minutes or 15 minutes then we can look there for the buy there okay we are expecting the market to come and expose this price so will be passed to upside on gold. If you are looking for a sell, there's no sell set up at the current state. You can take your trend line here to connect this point, okay? Then this will be your pattern, okay? After this up move, we'll see if the market is going to give us a drop there or a continuous pattern, okay? But after getting or exposing that price, the market, if it's going to give us a bigger correction, similar to this one, then we'll be expecting a running flag to continue upside, okay? Because there's a bigger running flag on daily that we are expecting to play out there, okay? So we'll be watching closely how the market will react after this buy being exposed. So we'll be biased to upside on gold. Then our next pair, our next pair that will be silver guys, okay? Let's go to silver, right on silver. What we are expecting on silver guys? We've got this up move, okay? Then we've got the pullback, run, upside then a drop this gives us a expanding flag that you should expect for a continuation upside so now what next for you next week after getting this aggressive move on lower time frame watch closely the pullback here okay then that pullback should be your correction or a pullback aggressive pullback okay similar to this pullback then we'll be watching for that buy can 
expose this price, they will be looking for this essay correction, then a continuous down, or the market can give us a another pullback here for a continuous pattern upside. Okay, so for next week, you'll be watching this price to, to be filled, then we'll update you from if the price is going to test this zone or expose that zone, okay? So we'll be biased to upside on silver again, okay? So we'll go to our next pair that will be a Euro USD, right? On Euro USD, we've got this up move. Hope you did get that up move, okay? So that up move, we are expecting a correction here, deeper correction on 61 Fibonacci ratio, okay? So we'll be expecting a reversal from around this zone, okay? So look for buy setups here. Look for buy setup to continue upside, okay? You are not seeing any drop, aggressive drop, but if this tends to break our zone here, our demand, then we'll be expecting a correction below it, then a drop to break this flow, okay? But now we are biased to upside on Euro USD. We'll be looking for our buy setups, impulse, a correction, then take the buy, okay? Because this is A, B, C, okay? A one, two, three structure. So look for buys on Euro USD. Hope we're going to trade well on Euro USD, guys, okay? We'll go to our next pair. That will be pound dollar. Okay. Let's go to pound dollar. Right on pound dollar again, guys. If you took this buy, well done, guys. This was a great move. More pips there. Okay. Then the market reversed again after breaking this roof. Okay. It's reversed then give us a correction around there for you to take the sell, okay? We're expecting the price to respect that zone, okay? Then we'll be looking for our buys again. So what next on pound dollar? Look for a reversal, yeah, impulse, the correction, then we can take the buy. Expect this to break this roof, even this roof, okay? Then we'll be cautious after taking that price, if we're getting that uh, correction there for us to have that running flag, okay? For pound dollar to continue upside. But for now, we'll be looking for our buy setups around here, okay? So look for buy setups there. Any signal that you are using and pulse pin, pin bar, in pass and correction, any kind of signal look for buy guys okay so do trade with k on pound dollar we'll go to our next play that will be nzd usd right on nzd usd what we are looking for we're expecting the price to go down and respect the 61 fibonacci ratio okay then we've got our zone here our demand there then so after what you need to do, you need to watch for an impulsive move, a correction, then an up move, expecting the price to expose that zone. Okay, guys. So we'll be biased to upside on NZD USD. If you are looking for a sell, watch for a correction here. Okay. Then a drop, but you are not expecting to break that flow. Even though the sell setup is not there, we are not fast to downside, okay? We are looking for our up moves here. Any sell up, uh, buy setup, do take it and do manage your trade well, okay? Then we'll go to our next pair that will be Aussie dollar. Right, on Aussie dollar, what you expect seeing on Aussie dollar? There was a good buy on Aussie dollar, hope you did. Take that buy, okay? 
after testing or exposing that zone, the market did reverse and give us a pullback. Yeah, I hope it did take that cell there, okay, for you to come and expose that floor. So what next now? We'll be watching closely this zone for up more. That up more, look for on lower time frame and impulse correction. Then you can take that buy. We'll be expecting a buy or an uptrend there. Okay, guys. So do trade with care. We are not anticipating any drop here, okay? Unless we get a deeper correction here to come and expose this flow, okay? We'll be expecting that if we see a correction around there. But we are not anticipating that move. We are looking for the price to go and expose that move, okay? So do trade with care on Aussie dollar. Then we'll go to our next pair that will be dollar yen, right? On dollar yen, remember we told you on our last publish that the price can push upside, okay? So we're biased to upside on dollar yen the past weeks, okay, guys? So here we were expecting the price to come and take this floor, then and up more, expose that price, okay? So the price, if you took a buy above there, well done. Then the price pushed up until that price, the current price, okay? So what next for coming weeks? You let the price to give you a ending diagonal, we call it catalyst. So we'll watch closely how the market is going to unfold. Then we'll be looking for a drop to expose that, uh, that flow, okay? We're expecting the price to come and expose there. So we'll be looking for our sales on dollar yen. Then if you are looking for buy on dollar yen, expect this to break our zone here, then a deeper correction for you to continue upside. This will be a running flag continuation pattern, okay? So do trade with care on dollar yen, right? Our next pair and our last pair will be dollar za. On dollar za, we are biased to downside the last past weeks, okay? But it was moving slowly. So what next now after touching or exposing that zone or breaking this floor? We were looking for a pullback there, then an up move to expose that price, okay? This price. So the price did give a signal here on lower time frame, one hour, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, there was a buy signal there, okay? So what next, next week? You'll be expecting a pullback here, okay? Okay, come and expose this zone then we'll be looking for a buy. So that buy will be testing that zone. Then we'll be looking for our down move again. Then an up move to complete a bigger pattern there, okay? If not, if not getting that bigger pattern, we'll be expecting the price to push up here, then give us a deeper correction, then an up move again, okay, guys? So do trade with K on dollars. That's it, guys. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're going to enjoy our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our family so that uh, you can get every video that we're going to publish and click that notification bell and like our video so that they can be exposed more and uh, other traders can see what we are doing as rev daily traders okay okay guys thank you we'll see you next week thank you guys